चलो भी चलो जल्दी आ जाओ जरा फास्ट मामले एडमिशन भी करनी है भाई Okay, let us start with the next. So, first of all, let us see that what kind of the force that holds the atoms together in solid, so that we can continue with all types of what the forces which are involved, the different different atoms and ions. Saath mein please apne chat box mein apna role model ke enter kar diye. Hariya. So, let us start with the first part. and energies of interaction between atoms now the energy of crystal is lower than that of the free atoms by an amount equal to energy required to pull the crystal apart into a set of free atoms this is called as binding energy or you know it is also called as cohesive energy sodium chloride is more stable than the collection of free sodium and chloride ions germanium crystal is more stable than a collection of free germanium like sodium and chlorine or chloride if i take separately and if i form a certain crystal that is like this this is more stable as compared to what individually sodium and chloride this is the meaning of this first term Okay. Now, this was the graph which we have discussed. So, okay, here is standard graph: potential energy versus what intermolecular distance. Now, if you understand this graph, you can answer majority of the questions based on what the crystal lattice. <coughs> the negative part of this energy always represent attraction, and the positive part of the energy always represent what repulsion. Now, first point here is. This typical curve has a minima at equilibrium distance R not. ये देख रहे हो R not. This R not is the equilibrium distance. The potential increases gradually, and that approaches zero as R goes to infinity. ठीक है? When R goes to infinity, then this potential energy that goes to zero. It approaches zero, but it is not equal to zero. When R is less than R not. That is equilibrium distance. Come on, then the potential energy increases very rapidly. Can you see this? This is a sharp increase in the potential energy. If R R naught is less than R naught, and if R R naught is more than R naught, then it is approaching towards zero as R tends to infinity. Okay, and the force is repulsive for R less than R naught. Check it. This part is repulsive. this lower part is what attractive the force between the atoms is negative of the slope of this curve aapne dekha na f is equal to minus du by dr hota hai right ye last time bhi maine explain kiya tha ki kahan se aati hai f is equal to minus du by dr so force between the atoms is negative of the slope of this curve at equilibrium and the repulsive force becomes equal to the attractive force equilibrium ke upar yahan pe right yahan pe dekho attractive force khatam ho gayi and repulsive ka that comes into play so this is what the equilibrium means what here repulsive is coming into play attractive is becoming zero theek okay? hai now the potential energy of either atom will be given by now this is the most important step here potential energy decreases in potential energy that is decrease in potential energy due to attraction plus increase in potential energy due to repulsion 
तो आपको लास्ट टाइम भी बताया था ये दो सिंबल नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव दिस इज वॉट ड्यू टू अट्रैक्शन पार्ट द सेकेंड टर्म इज ड्यू टू रिपल्शन पार्ट नॉन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी द नेट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन विच इज एज ए फंक्शन ऑफ आर आर इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन एटम्स एंड आइन्स एंड मॉलिक्यूल्स ए एंड बी आर प्रोपोर्शनलिटी कॉन्स्टेंट्स दैट इज ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन एम एंड एन दे आर द कॉन्स्टेंट्स करेक्टराइज of each type of the bond and the type ठीक है so what is the bonding in solids now when you start with the bonding in the solids all of the mechanism which cause bonding between atoms derive from electrostatic interaction between nuclei and electrons now this is again important point between the atoms derived from electrostatic interaction between nuclei and electrons the differing strengths and differing types of bonds are determined by particular electronic structure of the atoms involved ठीक है ना ये आपको पता ही है कि किसी में तो आयनिक बॉन्ड होता है किसी में कोवेलेंट होता है किसी में मेटालिक बॉन्ड होता है डिपेंडिंग ऑन द बॉन्डिंग the strength is decided the existence of stable bonding arrangements implies that special configuration of positive ions and outer electrons has less total energy than any other configuration including infinite separation of respective atoms the energy deficiency of configuration compared with isolated atoms is known as cohesive energy theek okay. hai as this is what cohesive energy which we are talking it here and ranges the value from 0.1 electron volt per atom for solids which can muster only the weak van der waals forces to 7 electron volt per atom or more in some covalent and ionic compounds and some more metals ye yeah, standard variation of types of what the forces to so, unki cohesive energy kis tarah se hogi पॉइंट वन से लेके सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट पर एटम डिपेंडिंग ऑन क्या वो आइनिक है या दैट इज वॉट अकोवलेंट और इट कैन बी एनी अदर टाइप ऑफ द बॉन्डिंग लाइक फोर्सेस इन दैट राइट सो लेट अस डिस्कस द बॉन्डिंग इन सॉलिड्स अ सॉलिड इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ बिलियंस ऑफ एटम्स विच आर पैक्ड क्लोजली एंड करेक्टरिस्टिक्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द स्टेट ऑफ मैटर कैन बी अकाउंटेड फॉर by their proximity and the forces of attraction that holds the atoms together the importance of these attractions is evident when we consider a piece of copper wire of which each gram contains 6.02 10^-23 what is this avogadro's number divided by 63.54 what is this atomic this is the mass of uh, copper atoms under normal condition the forces of attraction that binds these atoms are very strong if this is not true atoms will easily disintegrate or crumble or the metal will deform under small loads theek okay? hai now according to the strength and directionality chemical bonds are grouped into primary and secondary what are primary bonds by virtue of their nature are interatomic bonds whereas secondary bonds are intermolecular bonds now this point please underline this depending upon strength and directionality chemical bonds are grouped into primary and secondary primary bonds by virtue of their nature are interatomic bonds whereas secondary bonds are intermolecular bonds the attractive forces in primary bonds are directly associated with valence electrons and the outer cell which contains the valence electrons is in a higher energy state and hence relatively unstable if it can acquire more electrons to bring the total up to 8 or lose all its electrons to another it can become stable this is how atomic or primary bonds are formed in fact each bond is a direct consequence of exchange or sharing of valence electrons 
ठीक है सो द स्टडी ऑफ द सॉलिड स्ट्रक्चर रिवील्स दैट देर आर थ्री स्ट्रॉन्ग प्रिंसिपल टाइप ऑफ प्राइमरी बॉन्ड्स आयनिक गोवलेंट मेटालिक now these bonds are distinguished on the basis of the positions assumed by the bond electrons during formation of bonds van der waals and hydrogen bonds are typical examples of secondary bonds and they result from intermolecular attraction theek hai ji to teen tarah ke mein discuss karne hai ionic covalent and metallic fir baad mein van der waals and hydrogen bonds teen aur do panch so this is what the main point ye chahe aap iski uh, photo le lo ya iska screenshot le lo this is a very important basic difference between that of what the bondings now try to see it here we have five types of that bondings ionic bonding van der waals metallic covalent hydrogen now what are the basic properties of these bonding let us come to first of all this ionic bonding ionic bonding mein kya hota hai the crystal has high melting point they are hard and brittle they are non conducting solids right and examples best examples are sodium chloride cesium chloride zinc sulfide अब उनकी डिटेल्स आगे डिस्कस करेंगे एक एक करके बट दिस इज वॉट द बेसिक पार्ट ऑफ इट भाई चार लोगों ने अभी टेंडेंस नहीं लगाई हरी अब वेंडर वॉल बॉन्डिंग वेंडर वॉल्स में क्या होता है क्रिस्टल हाइज लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सॉफ्ट एंड ब्रिटल नॉन कंडक्टिंग एग्जांपल्स होगी आपके पास ऑल इनर्ट गैसेस नियॉन आर्गॉन क्रिप्टॉन and z then metallic bonding variable melting point hota hai inka variable hardness hoti hai very high melting point very hard this is covalent bond very high melting point check karo na covalent aur van der waal mein dekho to difference kya hai yahan pe very high yahan pe very लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट यहां पे हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट तो कोवेलेंट का एनिंग से भी ज्यादा होता है एंड कोवेलेंट बॉन्ड्स वेरी हार्ड यूजली नॉट कंडक्टिंग डायमंड एंड ग्रेफाइट दे आर द बेस्ट एग्जांपल्स इन कोवेलेंट बॉन्डिंग देन कम्स हाइड्रोजन बॉन्डिंग लो मेल्टिंग पॉइंट सॉफ्ट एंड ब्रिटल यूजली नॉन कंडक्टिंग बेस्ट एग्जांपल्स आइस ऑर्गेनिक सॉलिड्स एसेट्रा हाँ जी इसकी आपने स्क्रीन शॉट ले लिया काइंडली टेक दिस स्क्रीन शॉट दिस विल बी अ जिस्ट ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ द बॉन्डिंग देयर बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ वॉट द बॉन्डिंग्स डन okay so let us move further the primary bonds the three limiting cases of primary bonds are kon kon se covalent bond metallic bond and ionic bond inko primary bonds bolte hain so they are the three limiting cases of primary bonds and which are identified as covalent metallic and ionic right so now i will share with this second part of it and this is a very important question very important can be there in the exam also what is medalon constant of ionic crystal and find its value so heading de do calculations of medalon constant of ionic crystal now what does the medalon constant represents 
it represents the effect of a specific geometrical array of ions on electrostatic potential energy. It is a property of the crystal structure and depends on the lattice parameters, anion, cations, distance, or molecular volume of the crystal. Now, before considering three-dimensional crystal lattice, we shall discuss the calculations of metallum constant in linear chain of ions of alternate signs as following figure. Anji jara ye figure draw karlo copy me Ye figure sodium chloride ke liye. Please draw this one. Sodium chloride ions, chloride and sodium ions and so on. Or niche ye. Let us take this to be as the O center. Equilibrium distance R0, Yampi R0, and so on. 2R0, 3R0, and so on. So that we can use it in the calculations. This is a hypothetical one dimensional sodium chloride crystal. And the diagram. So let us start with the calculations. Now let us pick up a positive ion for the reference. And let us say that R0 is the shortest distance between adjacent ions. Now this ion has two negative ions as its neighbor, a right way or a left way, as it is clear. Is common positive power of zero linear? Either be negative, either be negative. Distance is the same, R0 and R0. Keep this picture in mind and let us derive all the expressions. So the attractive Coulomb force due to the nearest and neighbors, that will be given by what? This is what? E square by 4 by epsilon naught R naught minus E square by 4 by epsilon naught R naught and that gives you minus 2 E square by 4 by epsilon naught R naught. This is between this left side, right side. Ye niche 4 pi ye, ye 2 nahi hai yaad. So minus this, minus this, that gives you this. Take care, ye wala 2 factor nahi hai yaad. Ye yaad 2 printing mein aagaya hai by just. So isko kaat dena hai. So similarly, repulsive force due to 2 positive ions. This is repulsive energy ki baat kar rahe ho. At a distance 2 or not. Kaun kaun si hoogi repulsive force? Positive and positive. So, don't know my distance with man. Two are not. Okay. So, one see eigen energy. That is equal to this. Energy expression yaad hai na? K Q1 Q2 by R. Lactostatics. Energy expression K into Q1 Q2 over R. So, yaan pe yaan ke aapke paas this expression. And the attractive Coulomb energy due to two next neighbors. And the distance three are not. Again, three are not very cool. Attractive energy clear. Yeah, attraction between this and this. So naturally that distance is not Three are not. So I say karte aap sabhi ka sum karte jao. Total energy due to all the ions in the array. Now sum of all this and so on. So please keep on writing this expression. So, the common thing is that the common is that the common is that the common is common the common is that 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 the
और चेक कर रही है सारी की सारी टर्म क्या होती है लॉग ऑफ टू दैट इज इक्वल टू ई स्केयर डिवाइडेड बाय फोर पाई एफ सेवन आर टू लॉग सो जो ये टू लॉग टू आ गया इसको बोलते हैं मेडुलर कांस्टेंट बट इट इज पर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ आइनिक सॉलिड पर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द आइनिक सॉलिड और अगर हम इसको नंबर से मल्टीप्लाई कर दें तो दिस विल बी पर किलो मोल ऑफ आइनिक सॉलिड तो दिस इज द डिफरेंस चेक करो दिस पार्ट विल बी पर मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द आइनिक सॉलिड एंड इफ आई मल्टीप्लाई माय एवोगेटो नंबर इट बिकम्स मेडलम कांस्टेंट पर किलो मोल ऑफ द आइनिक सॉलिड ठीक है जी राइट हां जी हो गए यहां तक so let us uh, do it now calculation of mandelbrot constant of ionic crystal ke liye ab is sodium chloride ka structure dekh in the three dimensions of the series does present greater difficulty and it is not possible to sum series conveniently as in the case of one dimensional lattice wo one dimension mein to solve karna easy hai lekin three dimensional diya ho to fir it is very difficult tedious job to do it for definiteness let us consider sodium chloride lattice Of the structure represented by this. कर लो ड्रॉ कर लो प्रैक्टिस ही हो जाएगी एक बंदा अभी भी रहता है जिसने टेनिस में कहा बाईस लोग प्रेजेंट है इक्कीस की अटेंडेंस लगी है हु इज लेफ्ट हाँ जी ड्रॉ हो गया ओके सो लेट एस डू द कैलकुलेशन द टोटल एनर्जी द टोटल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी that is obtained by adding all the attractive and repulsive energies between all the ions now the sodium atom at point a is coordinated by six chloride atoms check karo ek sodium che chloride atom ke sath surrounding mein hai koi bhi diagram check kar lijiye sodium is represented by dot so dot ke sath surrounding mein dekho to che aapke paas chloride atoms aayenge at the distance are not therefore attractive potential energy becomes six times e square by 4 pi epsilon r not similarly 12 sodium atoms ions at under root 2 are not ye under root 2 kaun sa banta hai diagonally diagonally opposite theek hai at and six sodium at 2 are not six sodium at 2 are not so Let us write their value. 12 के लिए ये वाली वैल्यू जिसमें ये वाला डिस्टेंस और 6 के लिए ये वाला डिस्टेंस एंड आर नॉट इज दस्ट द टोटल कूलम एनर्जी ऑफ सोडियम आइंस देन कैन बी रिटर्न एज दिस एक्सप्रेशन ना जी आप इस एक्सप्रेशन को टोटल लिख लीजिए सो यू इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स ई स्केयर फोर पाई एफ सोनोट आर नॉट ट्वेल्व ई स्केयर फोर पाई एफ सोनोट अंडर टू आर नॉट Minus e square this and that so on so on so on so on so on. Finally plus then minus then plus plus minus. ये वाली जो second term है ये minus है. So plus ये वाली term आपने comma ले ली. ये बन गया आपके पास minus this 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 minus plus minus plus. हाँ जी हो गया इसमें जो टी चीज कॉमन है वो बाहर निकालो ई स्केयर बाय फोर बाय एफ सेवन आर बाकी बचा सिक्स ट्वेल्व बाई एंड्रोड टू एट बाई एंड्रोड थ्री सिक्स बाई एंड्रोड फोर एंड सो वन सो फॉर ए किलो मोल ऑफ क्रिस्टल टोटल कूल ऑफ एनर्जी इज गिवन बाय दिस एक्सप्रेशन 
the constant a is called the metallum constant aur jab aap isko solve karoge to uski value aayegi 1.75 for sodium chloride structure so sodium chloride structure ka metallum constant hai 1.75 Are you have noted down, please? Are you okay? ओके जी लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन ये जो नंबर आया आपका किलो मोल में आया ना इन जनरल ये आगे मेडल ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट फॉर फ्यू स्ट्रक्चर्स सोडियम क्लोराइड का देखा आपने 1.74 अगर आप सीजियम क्लोराइड का करोगे तो 1.76 आता है और जिंक ब्लेंड का 1.6381 थ्री आर जनरल वैल्यूज of that metal and constant for some of the structures okay ji okay so let us come to the next now so ye humne last time shuru kiya tha लेटेस्ट एनर्जी ऑफ आयनिक सॉलिड्स दैट विल डिफर फ्रॉम द बॉन्ड एनर्जी ऑफ डायटोमिक आयनिक मॉलिक्यूल्स सिंस द फॉर्मर केस देर विल बी इंटरक्शन बिटवीन मोर देन टू आइन नाउ द कोसिव एनर्जी ऑफ आयनिक क्रिस्टल इज एनर्जी दैट वुड बी लिबरेटेड बाय फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द क्रिस्टल फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल न्यूट्राइट और जो कोसिव एनर्जी आपको बताया वो इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट पर एटम में है इलेक्ट्रॉन वोल्ट पर मॉलिक्यूल में है और किलो जूल पर किलो मोल में एंड द बॉन्ड एनर्जी ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स हेल्ड टुगेदर बाय एन आयनिक बॉन्ड इज नॉट द सेम एज द कोसिव एनर्जी ऑफ क्रिस्टल्स बिकॉज इन द क्रिस्टल ईच आइन इंटरेक्ट्स विद ऑल द अदर आइन्स प्रेजेंट एंड नॉट जस्ट दैट विद वन और टू और थ्री ऑफ अपोजिट साइंस Sometimes the lattice energy rather than cohesive energy is presented, and the lattice energy is that energy involved when a crystal is formed from the individual ions, rather than from individual atoms. So let us uh, now consider again the case of sodium chloride, which is one of the best example of ionic compound. as we have discussed just now ionic crystals are strongly bound binding energy about 5 to 10 electron volt per molecule and this is the energy required to dissociate lattice into positive and negative ions at infinite separation the two common types are cesium chloride and sodium chloride this is face centered and this one is body centered the calculations of binding energy of ionic crystal generally requires नॉलेज ऑफ फोर्सेस एक्टिंग बिटवीन द कंस्टिट्यूएंट पार्टिकल्स ठीक है ओके सो लेट अस डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट now check it the stability of ion ionic crystal 
depends upon balancing of at least three forces electrostatic coulomb forces van der waal forces inter ionic repulsive forces and so on but the electrostatic or coulomb force between the ions which give a resultant attraction falling off with scale of the distance coulomb law and the van der waal forces have attraction and that diminishes according to seventh power of distance the last time we discussed kiya tha inter ionic repulsive forces they fall off stick more rapidly with distance the resultant of all the attractive and repulsive forces is to lead an equilibrium position of minimum potential energy that is of greater stability you know lesser the energy more is the stability ye humne graph last time discuss kiya tha i hope that ab aapko ye graph aur uske sath link samajh aa gaya hoga ki humne jo energy ka expression in terms of metlong constant bhi nikala hai cohesive energy ka expression bhi nikale hain this is all in terms of this particular relation which we have explained it last time ki binding energy ke liye kaun kaun si term responsible hoti hain kaun si attractive hoti hai kaun si repulsive hoti hai this part is repulsive this part is what the attractive part of what the forces right so ab iske liye let us energy of any crystal two ions charges z1e and z2e separated by distance r तो अट्रैक्टिव एनर्जी क्या होगी माइनस जेड वन जेड टू ई स्केयर बाई फोर फाइव सेवन आर देर फॉर दिस एनर्जी कैन बी रिटर्न एज ई स्केयर बाय दिस फोर ई स्केयर बाय दैट नाइन ई स्केयर बाय दैट एंड सो ऑन नाइफ बोथ एटम्स आर रेस्पेक्टिवली मोनोवेलेंट डाइवेलेंट एंड ट्राइवेलेंट फॉर द होल क्रिस्टल द कूलम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी मे बी रिटर्न एज एंड दिस इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट कॉल इज मेटल ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट Z1, Z2, E square by 4 by epsilon r. So, ये हमने A अभी अभी निकाला है पिछले आर्टिकल्स में. That is metal ohm constant. So, this term represent net coulomb potential energy of any ion due to presence of other similar and dissimilar ions present in the crystal. The minus sign shows the net coulomb energy is attractive, and A is called as metal ohm constant. ठीक है सो प्रिवेंट टू प्रिवेंट द लेट इज फ्रॉम कोलैप्सिंग देर मस्ट बी रिपल्सिव फोर्सेज बिटवीन द आइंस दीज रिपल्सिव फोर्सेज बिकम मोर नोटिसबल वेन द इलेक्ट्रॉन शेल्स ऑफ नेबरिंग आइंस बिगिन टू ओवरलैप एंड दे इंक्रीज स्ट्रॉन्गली इन दिस रीजन विद डिक्रीजिंग वैल्यूज ऑफ आर Now that is the repulsive forces arise from interaction of electron clouds surrounding an atom. Now, born in this early work, made with a simple assumption that repulsive energy due to overlap of outer electron shells between two ions is inversely proportional to some power of R. And here we have B over under root of sorry B over R to the power n. now focusing our attention again on one particular ion we may thus write the repulsive energy of this ion due to presence of all other ions in the crystal that is b over r to the power n and n is called the repulsive exponent जो ये मीटिंग छोड़ के गया है उसका नाम भी आ गया है प्लीज ज्वाइन करने के बाद छोड़ोगे तो मैं फिर मार करूंगा एबसेंट सो वन पर्सन हैज लेफ्ट सो हुवर हैज लेफ्ट दैट रोल नंबर हैज कम ऑन द स्क्रीन आई विल मार्क एबसेंट नाउ सो काइंडली जब तक ये मीटिंग खत्म नहीं होती है लीव नहीं करना ना कैलकुलेशन ऑफ लेटर एनर्जी ऑफ आइनी क्रिस्टल्स द टोटल एनर्जी ऑफ वन आइन due to presence of all other ions is given by this expression in terms of metal ohm constant plus b by r to the power repulsive part of it so for univalent alkali halides now this can be written as a e square kyunki jo z ki value is z1 and z2 usko humne ya in terms of that univalent univalent means z is equal to 1 टोटल एनर्जी पर किलो मोल ऑफ क्रिस्टल कैन बी रिटनाइज 
तो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मिनिमम एट आर नॉट तो इसका डेरिवेटिव ले लो मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो तो आपको पता मिनिमा एग्जिस्ट वेन अवर दैट मैक्सिम और मिनिमा विल एग्जिस्ट वेर द डेरिवेटिव इज जीरो सो हेयर वी राइट डी यू बाई डी आर दैट इज इक्वल टू आर जीरो सो डिफ्रेंशिएट करो इसको सो आफ्टर डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग चेक इट यू विल गेट दिस Please study up. Now you can differentiate it yourself. And write the value of B. Yeah, the clipper as it is. B that the value of this constant B after differentiating put it equal to zero. This will be equal to B. The total equilibrium energy per kilo mole of crystal is given by this expression. तो जो बी की वैल्यू है वो लो और इस बी की वैल्यू यहां पुट कर दो पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी हेयर जो कांस्टेंट की वैल्यू आई पुट द वैल्यू हेयर एंड यू विल गेट दिस रिजल्ट यू टू माइनस यू वन वेयर यू वन एंड यू टू रिप्रेजेंट व्हाट नेट कूलम अट्रैक्शन एंड रिपल्शन एंड दस द टोटल एनर्जी एक्सप्रेशन विल बी गिवन बाय दस तो हमारे पास एक जनरल फॉर्मूला आ गया दैट इज एनर्जी का दैट इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एन माइनस वन ओवर एन and it is experimentally measured from born haber cycle data ye wala data jo hai na same jo mathematically aa raha hai it is verified experimentally from this born haber cycle data chal diya ab mere paas 1 minute 30 second bache hain so i hope that sabhi ne form bhar diya ho so we are going to start with admissions now so right now agar jiska rehta hai to please wo unmute karke mere ko zara bata de if you have any problem Anyone, please raise your hand or write in the chat box. Sorry, up. Anjali Keshav. Uh, sir, my result na uh, 5 August ko aaya. I had a medical done. Okay. So, which document I should upload, sir? I will upload all of them. You can upload medical ones too. Whatever comes, whatever comes, all of them. Okay, sir. Okay. Ah, or if there is any problem. Anyone, please raise your hand. Arya, one minute is left. I hope that we have done everything. So, guys, all these people have filled their form. So, we are going to admission. Now, anyone, please raise your hand. Arya, one minute is left. I hope that we have done everything. So, guys, all these people have filled their form. So, we are going to admission. Now, anyone, please raise your hand. Arya, one minute is left. I hope that we have done everything. So, guys, all these people have filled their form. So, we are going to admission. Now, anyone, please raise your hand. Arya, one minute is left. I hope that we have done everything. So, guys, all these people have filled their form. So, we are going to admission. Now, any